So I'm here at uh, this is Meyerson's home. We are looking at their uh, the existing furnace. It's about 30 years old. Uh, Jim was out here. Uh, he found a crack in the uh, one of the heat exchangers um, on the left side. Um, so looking at the unit here, as you can see, so it is vented out a uh, so this flue right here is going to be a joint flue for uh, yeah. all the three units and the unit below it. Um, we have a 21 and a half inch wide coil sitting on top. We're going to look at just doing a uh, doing a furnace, um, just replacing the furnace. We're going to do some options, whether it be 80% or 95%. Um, if we go 80%, we'd go. Um, we'd probably just go right out the side of this wall. We'd have to go through the drywall, and then we got this brick on the side. Um, a 95% or an 80% we'd go back up through the flue. Um, the gas piping comes down right here. Uh, and shoots into the sides so as you can see it has a shut off if we're at the same height we can just use it and readjust um, we've got our switch here so the return is actually a base that we're sitting on as a return so they've got two separate returns they've got this return right here in the wall so they're it's panned all the way down and then they're pulling it in um, to here and then they've also got another return on the wall over um, on the other side here um, as far as ductwork goes, they seem to be pretty, they're, they're good as far as the supply and return, um, how much they've got. This is a 105,000 BTU input furnace. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to get an idea. We might go down to an 80, um, or stick with the hundred. I haven't, uh, measured the house yet, but, uh, I'll have that option, uh, put together and, um, I will get the height of this furnace here as well.